Top 70 Amazing Facts About England England, the birthplace of Shakespeare and the Beatles, is a country in the British Isles bordering Scotland and Wales. England's parliamentary system of government has been widely adopted by other nations. Find out these 70 interesting facts about England that will help you learn more about this fascinating country. 1. Queen Elizabeth II is distantly related to Vlad the Impaler, the infamous Romanian ruler who gave rise to Dracula stories. 2. King Henry VIII exploded in his coffin, and his remains were licked up by dog, as was bravely predicted by Friar Pedo. He was not the only exploding king of England, however. William the Conqueror was the other. 3. Believe it or not, medieval football often led to injuries and death. At least 40 men drowned during the game, while chasing the ball into the sea. 4. King Henry III had a pet polar bear which he received from the King of Norway. Kept on a leash in the Tower of London, the bear would swim and catch fish in the Thames. 5. Winston Churchill was terrible at school, except in English composition and history. In fact, he failed twice at the entrance exams for the Royal Military College, before going on to become one of Britain's most famous prime ministers. 6. During the Great Stink of 1858, London's River Thames stank so much from raw sewage thrown in that the Parliament had to close. There were even plans to shift offices to Oxford or St Albans. 7. Four-time Prime Minister William Gladstone kept whips in his home with which he would often whip himself for chastisement. 8. The London Bridge is falling down nursery rhyme may be over 1,000 years old. It may also point to the many fires and collapses the bridge was prone to over the centuries, and take a dig at My Fair Lady or Queen Eleanor who may not have made the best use of bridge revenues. 9. Pigs ate your crops? Try the animal at court and find the owner if guilty. Animal trials were held in medieval England. 10. If you ate breakfast in medieval England, you'd often enjoy a beer with bread or if you could afford it, wine. 11. The English drink more tea than most other cultures in the world, even more than the Japanese. The Irish drink more tea than the English. 12. The Queen is not allowed to set foot in the House of Commons. It's not clear what the penalty would be if she did. 13. You can drink in English pubs and bars but you can't get drunk. 14. In Scotland, if you get drunk and have a cow in your charge, for some reason you could be jailed or fined up to £200. 15. There were no trash bins in London for 20 years, for fear of bomb attacks by the IRA. 16. London tube stations used to have a stand on the right escalator rule until it was thankfully scrapped in 2015. 17. For an American, a fortnight is two weeks, a lift is an elevator, a cart is a trolley and the second floor is actually the first. 18. It may seem pointless, but Lester actually has two syllables. 19. Pancake Day or Shrove Tuesday has nothing to do with pancakes but everything to do with crepes and lemons. At least, that's how the Americans in Britain would see it. 20. British road signs can be baffling. If you see the red ring of death, it usually means no vehicles except bicycles being pushed by pedestrians. 21. Ghost words have often appeared in dictionaries, but they actually mean nothing. The Oxford English Dictionary possibly misprinted the word name oublimes for forget-me-nots into momblishness, which is described as muttering talk. 22. Shakespeare would have called magpies, maggot pies. 23. Though the French and British may have long-standing rivalries, the English language has taken many of its legal, political, and military terms from the French. 24. Many medical and scientific terms come from Greek words. Words that start with PH are usually of Greek origin. Think phobia, physical, philosophy, etc. 25. Many trade, shipping, and painting related words come from the Dutch language. Skipper, landscape, freebooter, easel, etc. clearly point to Dutch navigators and Dutch masters who influenced the British. 26. The word cannibal came from the Spanish Caribbeans. It makes you wonder what Christopher Columbus found there. 
27. Pajamas was actually an Indian Bengali word derived from Persian that came into the English language. 28. Veal is French, because in medieval England only the wealthy Norman invaders could afford veal, while the poor commoners could only afford the humble chicken, which derived from Dutch and German languages. 29. The slang schmuck for a foolish person actually comes from the Yiddish word schmuck, meaning male genitals. 30. It is not surprising that salsa comes from Spanish, origin of Spanish term sauce. Derived from Latin. 31. MPs in the House of Commons of the British Parliament always have a snuff box waiting for them at the front door with free snuff. It's not clear if any of the MPs still use it, but the wooden box with a silver plaque is maintained by the principal doorkeeper. 32. The British royal family is not just an icon of tradition and fashion. Only when the Queen gives her royal assent on a bill and signs it, can it become an act. Interestingly, royal assent has not been refused since 1707. 33. The Scottish national animal is the unicorn. Why a creature that doesn't even exist? It appears that according to Scottish mythology, the unicorn is the natural enemy of the lion, the symbol that the English royal family adopted for itself. 34. The oldest building in Britain today is at Scara Bray, in the Orkney Isles of Scotland. 35. The world's shortest flight is only 47 seconds, in ideal weather, to 2 minutes long, between the Orkney Islands of Papa Westray and Westray. 36. The Loch Ness with its legendary monster lies in Scotland, and has offered many sightings of Nessie. Some people believe it is a descendant of a prehistoric marine dinosaur. 37. Sadly only 21% of local Welsh people can speak their native language, which is called the British tongue in English. This is ironic, since 98% of Britain's population, derived from the oldest name for the British islands, speak English. 38. Clonvarpal Gwyngath is a town in Wales, with the second longest single word place name in the world. The name is, Lanfair Pwll Gwyngath Gogorishwurndrob Wll Lanti Siliogo Go Gok. 39. Game of Thrones fans were incensed to find that the set for Dark Hedges was painted with a white line down the middle by road maintenance crew in Armoy, Northern Ireland. Thankfully, the mistake was cleaned up soon. 40. According to the Sunday Observance Act of 1780, it is technically illegal to go to the cinema in Northern Ireland on Sundays. You could be fined up to 50 pounds. 41. Swims is the same upside down. 42. Catawampus is a word. It means awry. 43. Squirrel comes from a Greek word meaning shadow tail. 44. Billowy is the longest non-scientific English word to have its letters in alphabetical order. 45. The letter X is not a new symbol for a kiss in text messages. It was first used in a 1763 letter from Gilbert White, who was a naturalist. 46. Clue once meant a ball of thread, now it is something that can lead you out of a maze. 47. If several years ago you heard Gardy Lou on the streets of Edinburgh, it was a warning that slops of toilet were about to be thrown from the window overhead. Thankfully, those days are long gone. 48. The word, daisy, is shortened from, day's eye, because the daisy opens and closes with the day. 49. The word, girl, once meant a child or young person of either sex. 50. Teradiddle is a word that has been a favorite of many writers, from Balzac to G.K. Chesterton and even J.K. Rowling. We don't know where this word for unpretentious nonsense came from, but there is a myth that it was born in the Irish town of Teradiddle, which doesn't really exist. 51. Toad in the hole looks and tastes much better than it sounds. It is simply sausages in Yorkshire pudding, named so because apparently, to some, it looks like toads popping up from a hole. 52. You can also eat, spotted dick, in England, and snigger while you eat. This is a dried fruit and suet pudding popularly served with custard in Britain. The word, dick, doesn't mean what you think it means. It may just be a corruption of pudding. 
53. Welsh rabbit or rarebit is nothing but melted cheese on toast. The original name is really a silly and patronizing dig at the Welsh. 54. You can eat bleded meddlers in England. Sounds strange, and even stranger, it is made by letting meddlers, a small apple-like fruit, rot. The odd thing is, the rotted fruit is really delicious. 55. Cullen skink is nothing odder than a thick haddock, onion, and potato soup originally from the Scottish town of Cullen. 56. Stargazy pie is an odd invention, a pie with pilchard heads and tails poking out of the pie crust into the sky. It is a traditional Cornish Christmas meal. 57. Ever tried singing hinnies from Northern Britain? They are nothing but currant cakes that sizzle or sing on the griddle way are cooked. They are hinnies because it is a term used for loved ones. 58. Many Roman roads in Britain have cherry trees along the way. The story goes, they sprouted from the cherry stones spat by soldiers. 59. Garlic crowdy is a delicious Scottish cheese seasoned with garlic. 60. When in England, you can eat love in disguise, just a fancy name for stuffed hearts of cows and pigs. 61. It was actually illegal to eat mince pies on Christmas Day in the time of Oliver Cromwell. The purpose was to control gluttony. 62. Christmas dinners often feature devil on horseback, on the table, dates or prunes wrapped in bacon. 63. London has seen only 10 white Christmases since 1900. 64. The traditional Christmas plum pudding may actually have been derived from suet meat puddings with dry fruits. 65. The Queen's message on Christmas Day is not an old tradition. King George V started it in 1932 when he read a speech by none other than writer Rudyard Kipling. 66. Boxing Day is not just a bank holiday in England. It is the day you share Christmas leftovers with friends and neighbors. In the past, masters shared leftovers in the form of boxes with servants. 67. The Scottish may have a cludy dumpling instead of the Christmas pudding for dessert on Christmas Day. 68. It used to be a New Year tradition in Wales to decorate a horse's skull with white sheets and bells. 69. Mummering is a tradition in which people wear masks or paint their faces and perform plays in the community. Mummers may also visit houses like carolers used to do. 70. Hogmanay, or New Year's Eve, celebrations in Scotland are bigger than Christmas celebrations, and strangers are considered auspicious if they enter the house on that day. What do you think about these interesting facts? Please tell us in a comment below and share. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel to get more interesting videos. If you like our video, please share it with your friends.